hello welcome back to my channel how's everybody doing today i am doing just peachy so today i bring to you some tags yes aren't these awesome looking tags so i've been challenged by my friend kim newberg um to make something out of these tags now what these tags are um these tags were purchased by it's so bohemian and i will link that below and what it is it's um an artist from the ukraine um that kim has made us aware in her videos that perhaps we can go and and buy some digital kits from some of those that are in the Ukraine um, to help support them. These tags, and I'll show them to you in a moment, were only $2. And you get a good amount of tags and they are in the style that I use that most of us use. And there's not much more you really have to do to them to you know use them and put them in your journals um there's lots of artists in the ukraine um so just go to etsy and search for artists in the ukraine i got these from it's bo it's so bohemian and i also got some from another artist that i did not double check the name on before I came on. Charm Studio, and that's Charm, but with an S, Studio. And I got some awesome um, sheets from her. And I don't think I have any right here. I don't know what I did with them actually but they are labels a lot of um vintage labels and they are so actually i made these from those labels so you can see the type of labels um from that one so go support our friends friends in the ukraine like i said these labels only cost two dollars so let's get on with this enough chatting um so you get three pages you get this page of full-size tags and then this page and you can see one's printed on white one's printed on cream it's whatever was in my printer. And then you get this one. Same tags, but smaller. We're gonna work with the bigger tags. And I went ahead and I ha cut out, I have three tags here. Now what I did is I printed them on 65 cardstock. So they're ready to go. You can either leave the the cream or the white cardstock whatever you used on the back or you can back it with coffee dyed paper which is what i like to do and that's what this sheet is for and um like kim and i'll link her video below you have to go watch her her video it's her mass make monday and she used these tags and she prints them on coffee paper, um, just regular old coffee paper, which I'm going to have to try that. And then she backed it with a couple of layers of book page. Um, and then with um, whatever you want your writing space to be. She used um, a brown paper bag. So Kim has some awesome ideas and um, the book page idea, backing them on book page is such a great way. Now, why aren't these sticking? It's such a great way to use up 
the book pages that we have so many of. My, this is art glitter glue. And my little nozzle is um what's the word I'm looking for? There's something in the nozzle. And so glue won't come out of that the little nozzle. And I had a little pokey tool because a needle won't go into this little one. But I, I don't know where the pokey tool went. It was really small. So I stitch around my tags when I'm done. So the glue is just temporary. But I do want it down enough where it'll hold it before I get to the sewing machine. And that part I won't make you watch. So, yeah, these tags are perfect, and I've already used them. That's why I have these ones printed out. I've already used them in a project in the journal that I'm making. And I used the little baby ones, too. All right. Get this stuff out of the way here. So there you go. <gasps> did you just see what I did? I'll fix that later. Uh. I'm always rushing. So I'm just flatting and flattening it out. And uh, I pressed too hard. I need to get that nozzle fixed on that art glitter glue. And then I wouldn't have had so much glue in that spot. There, perfect. So, let's see. I got some stuff out. You know, I didn't get my little labels out. So, I have some flowers here that I thought we would use. And I'm actually going to punch out the holes. These little things. I have the crocodile. Of course, it's packed, but these you can get at the Dollar Tree in a yard sale or estate sale. I mean, they're all over the place and for just a dollar. And it's good to have it on hand. So, you just want to ink around it if, if you like the distress look. which is what the tags are, really. I'll probably maybe put a butterfly on that to cover that up. All right. Now we're good to go. So I have some flowers and I think I'm gonna put flowers on each of them. This one is a sticker. One of those washi stickers. I'm not really sure why they call them washi stickers. They're just a clear sticker. And I have the hardest times 
was thinking maybe I should do the top. But I always have the hardest times because it's not laying flat. There we go. It curls up on you once you take the backing off. It is so pretty. I love these clear stickers. And then I'm going to have to use the trusty art glitter glue. These other two are um, from Tim Holtz. And I don't have the packaging, but it's one of his die cuts. And of course, I don't have a paper towel in here. I am not ready for this video, let me tell you. But it's one of his packages with his die cuts. I got it from Amazon. And if I remember, I will link it for you. It's a big old package. I think there's like 80 some odd. Uh, and they're pretty much all botanical. So now I gotta figure out, I'll hang it off that side. You see what I'm doing? You see the glue on every single finger I have? Good thing I have wet wipes in here. Alcohol wipes. Usually I have paper towels though. But as you all know, all my stuff is packed so for when we move. And I'm in this little itty bitty little dungeon. So there's that. What do we need now? Lace. Probably need lace first. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, we probably should have put lace on it first. Put lace there. I'm going to use my Faber Tac three in one, whatever it is. And this handy dandy tool is a lip scrubber from the Dollar Tree. It's great so you don't have to get glue all over your fingers that needs like a word or a number i have some words in here and i didn't bring out my numbers i got my butterflies ready though do we like that Cut off some of this white though. There. I need a topper and I don't didn't bring anything out. I need ribbon. So let's check out this one. I have a tendency to put the lace on the bottom. Do we like it on the side? 
I don't know. Do we like that? I think I do. I think that I do. Let's trim this one up too. So the weather is nice and cool right now, which is surprising here in Florida. <laughs> I didn't expect to wake up to cool weather. But it's nice. It's really nice. It's the temperatures that I like, 70. I think it should stay 70 all year round. There's our second one. Now, you know, I guess a butterfly would not work. Oh, I wanted to show you. This is Insta Ink Box. And it's full of butterflies. This is my butterfly box. And um, I need to decorate the outside. But I have some ephemera book. I have some butterflies in here that are smaller, I was thinking. And I don't know. Would a butterfly be too much? I need to trim this off though. Am I reaching my arm? I'm sorry. I turned that off, so I want to make sure. Do we like that butterfly there? Do we like that? I think I like that better. Let me trim this a little bit. This is just cheesecloth. I think I like that. Let me see. I don't think I have any. I have words. I don't have any. What about this word? Might be too small for me to deal with. Yeah, let's do that. So this cheesecloth, I haven't coffee dyed yet. But yesterday I was working on a project and I needed cheese dyed. Cheese dyed. Coffee dyed cheesecloth. So I just used my distressed ink and my um, vintage photo and ran over it. And I dyed it, see? It works. 
All right, this is one of those washi stickers. I keep getting it and then losing it. All right, I'm going to a different spot. Now, where do we want love? It's awful small. Awfully small. Okay. I don't know. I'll be able to stitch around them now. <clears throat> Should have done it before I decorated, maybe. This one I can definitely stitch around. This one I probably can. Yeah, I guess I can stitch around them all. So there we go. What do you think? I want to find some ribbon. So that is what I'm going to do. Lord knows I have enough ribbon, right? you watch my thrifty thursday videos let's see for this one we're going to use this where is the end Right there. So this is a little small. This is bow making. Bow making ribbon. But it's the right color. And actually I should wait. I'm going to stitch it. And then that's going to go on that one. I need to stitch it first. Before I put the ribbon on. I just opened that and I have one exactly like it right next to where that was sitting. Um, I think I'll use this ribbon. So with this ribbon, I think I will go up like this. And put it like that. And it's purple and it looks like it's about the same color. So I will stitch just right across that and that'll go like that. This one, you know, you fold it in half and I'll put it in and show you. You put it in, and then your tails just go right through the whole, oh, one tail didn't go, and then you pull it, okay? And then for this one, Since it didn't get any lace, I will do lace just like that, and I'll stitch across the top. So that's our three tags for today. I challenge you to go on Etsy and find a Ukrainian artist and purchase anything you know this was two dollars that two dollars will hopefully help them 
We don't know. We don't know that it won't help them. So I just know that they need help. So it kind of hit home with me yesterday in the in the respect that I don't know if y'all are familiar with postcrossing.com. It's where you mail postcards. Um, you are allotted a certain amount per month where I'm allotted 11 per month. Um, the longer you're there and the more you do, then the, the more you're allotted. And, um, um, you, you get postcards, you send them to someone, they tell you who you're sending them to and it's all over the world. Okay. Well, I got one yesterday and it when when you get the let me back up when you get the postcard you go onto the site and you register that postcard marking that you receive the postcard and you're leaving a note you know a thank you note you know just like when we do swaps um same same process um so i received a postcard yesterday from a lady in the ukraine ukraine um telling me how that it's horrible right now she prays that it will get better and um that's pretty much was it when i went on to register the postcard i seen it took 45 days to get here I, i'm in florida united states 45 days to get here from the ukraine and it was belgium or is it yeah belgium actually and um her site was closed down her her profile if you will was closed down and of course you know now it's been on my mind what has happened to this person you know i i have no clue what happened to her what happened to her account uh, you know so i don't know you know, if if we purchase from their Etsy shop, are they going to get the money? We don't know. But it's better to do it. You know, they're going to get the money at some point. But if they, what if they are getting the money now and they need that money to flee? They need that money to live on, that sort of thing. Um, because they're not able to go to work because of the war. Who knows, right? What if they fled and the money from their Etsy shop is the only money that they have to live on and, you know, they're living in some camp somewhere they fled or, or family outside of the country. Who knows? All these thought processes are going through my head. So go on Etsy and purchase something. And that is my challenge to you. And, um... You know, if you do, maybe you can post a video of it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.